Imagine we have a person traveling and we have a graph of their velocity versus time. And we want to know how far did this person travel in 30 seconds? Well, we can think of distance traveled as an area under a curve of a velocity versus time graph. So if we want to know from 0 to 30 seconds how far the person traveled, we need to find this area under the curve. And the best way to do that is to divide it up into shapes that are familiar. So if I put a line right here, then I get a triangle right here. And if I put another line right here, then I would get a rectangle, and then I would get another triangle over here. So I'll call this area 1. I will call this area 2, and I will call this area 3. So to get my distance, I need to add up these three areas. So the distance traveled is going to equal A1 plus A2 plus A3. Okay, so what's A1? Well, this would be the area of this triangle. The area of a triangle is one-half base times height. So it would be one-half times the base. The base is five seconds. And the height? Well, the height is 30 meters per second. So I can put that in here, and you can see that the units will cancel, and I will be left with meters. Then I have area 2, which is this rectangle right here. The base, well, it goes from 5 to 15. So the base in this case would be 10 seconds. And the height is still uh, 30. So this is 30 meters per second. And then area 3. So area 3 is another triangle, so that's going to be 1 half and then I have to put in the base. Now we're going from 15 to 30, so the base is 15 seconds. And the height? The height is still 30 meters per second. Okay, so if I were to calculate all of this right here, I end up getting 600 meters. So as long as my velocity is positive and I have a graph of the velocity function over time, I can calculate the distance traveled by just calculating the area under the curve.